Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back and thank you so much for the support. If you are new to this channel and by the end of the video, you enjoy our content, do consider subscribing and joining the Psych2Go family. Now, let's begin. Were you given golden rules to live by when you were younger? Did the lessons they taught you make the world seem as simple as black and white? <laughs> if only. Always be kind, honesty is the best policy, you should always be polite and well-mannered. Do these sound familiar? But as you grow older, you start to realize that the world is a much more complicated place than what you were brought up to believe. Sometimes making the right choice is hard and confusing. Often you land in what feels like lose-lose situations. You might not see the truth even when it's right in front of you because it's too painful for you to admit. Does it feel like no matter how much you try and protect yourself from the harsh realities of life, they continue to stare back at you? Even being in denial and pretending like everything's fine, there's always some things you know to be true, but wish weren't. But until you confront those truths and accept them, you're always going to be stuck facing the same old dilemmas over and over again. So with that said, here are some of the most uncomfortable but important truths we all need to accept in life. Number one, only you can change yourself. Just as you are responsible for your own happiness, you too are responsible for your own personal growth and development. The moment you stop living in denial and open your eyes to your own flaws and toxic traits, the sooner you stop making the same mistakes over and over again. Everyone in your life may be aware of it already, but until you call yourself out, it's not going to make much of a difference because the only person who can make any real lasting change in your life is you. Number two, only you can give yourself closure. <sighs> Maybe you were in an unhealthy relationship with someone or you went through a traumatizing experience. It could also be that you're still trying to move on from someone who abandoned you. Whatever it may have been, it's important that you understand that while your trauma is not your fault, your healing is your responsibility. Closure isn't something you get from someone else. It's something only you can give yourself. Closure is a choice you make to move forward, keep going, and not let your pain define you anymore. Closure is the peace of mind only you can give yourself. Number three, taking no risk is the biggest risk of all. Are you convinced that playing it safe and staying in your comfort zone is the smartest thing to do? The truth is, it's not. Because living in constant fear of failure, hurt, and disappointment also means missing out on some of the best and most wonderful things life has to offer. After all, as they say, you have to risk failure to succeed you have to risk heartbreak to find love. Putting yourself out there is key if you ever want to experience the worthwhile things in life like love, friendship, passion, and adventure. These things all come at a cost, but the price is considered much better paid than living life full of regrets and what ifs. Number four, sometimes quitting is for winners. Life is all a game of finding the perfect balance between putting yourself out there and knowing how to quit while you're ahead. Do you agree? because in spite of what you've been told all your life, quitting can be a good thing too. Yes, really. Knowing when to stop, change directions, and leave behind a negative situation is going to save you a lot of heartaches as you grow older. So think long and hard about which battles are worth fighting and give up anything else that no longer serves you. Don't quit because it's hard. Quit because it's making you unhappy, because it's no longer working, and because you deserve better. Number five. If they really wanted to, they would. Are you still waiting for your phone to light up with their text? Or maybe they told you they'd call you back and left you hanging. It hurts to realize that people you love and care about may not always feel the same way about you. The wiser approach is to come to terms with it sooner rather than later, so you don't end up wasting your time. If you need to force someone to make an effort to keep a relationship alive, be it romantic or platonic, you're better off not having them around at all. Yes. It is painful to admit, but you need to let go of those partners, friends, and family members who take you for granted and don't see your value. Instead, go to where you know you are loved and appreciated. Six, happiness isn't anywhere down the road. As Steve Maraboli puts it, happiness is a state of mind. You won't find it waiting for you somewhere down the road, some day in the future. It's not something you'll magically find when you finally get married or land your dream job because happiness is a journey, not a destination. And if you can't find happiness where you are now, then you won't find it anywhere else either. Not until you give up the idea that happiness is anywhere but here 
and start being more grateful for what you have and where you are right now. It is, after all, an experience that you choose, right? Number seven, you can't love someone else until you love yourself first. Here's an oldie but a goldie. Yes, it may sound cliche to some of you psych2goers. However, there's a lot of truth to be found in this saying. We kid you not, because no matter how hard you try, no matter how perfect your relationship or your partner may be, at the end of the day, there is no amount of affection or love that can fill the void in a person who doesn't love themselves. You need to have a good relationship with yourself, filled with honesty, knowledge, acceptance, and compassion. Otherwise, none of your romantic relationships will ever work out. Or worse, they might even become maladaptive coping mechanisms for you and make you more dependent, needy, and insecure. And so it goes. It's always better to be honest with ourselves about how we feel and what it all means. Living in denial of our problems and flaws certainly isn't going to do anyone any good. And staying stuck in our problematic ways is going to get us nowhere in life. It might feel scary, difficult, and overwhelming to confront our issues head on. But as they say, the only way to get past your problems is to get through them. And at the end of the day, an uncomfortable truth is much better than a comfortable lie. Don't you think? We hope we were able to give you insight into some truths that might be uncomfortable, but are better off accepted rather than avoided. Do you relate to any of the things we've mentioned here? Is there a painful or uncomfortable truth you're struggling to come to terms with right now? Leave a comment down below and please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those who may be playing hide and go seek with the truth. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And thank you for watching.